Hi guys, welcome back to my robot designs. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to design this helical bevel gear using Autodesk Fusion 360. So, without wasting time, let's get into it. First, create a new design by going to File and select New Design. Go to Document Settings and change the unit to millimeter. Press OK. Now create new sketch. Select the right plane. Go to sketch. Rectangle. Two point rectangle. And draw one rectangle of 45 by 160 millimeter. And press enter. Now I am going to draw one profile. And I am going to fast forward this a little bit. Now go to sketch dimensions and assign the dimensions as like this. This one is 5 mm. 1 mm. 2 mm. And 5 mm. This point to this point, 5 mm this line 40 this line 25 this line 35 now go to sketch circle select that option 2 point circle Draw a circle of diameter 10 mm. Press enter. Trim out this unnecessary portion. So go to trim and trim out these portions. Now I don't need this rectangle, so double click on the rectangle and press delete. Complete this profile. So go to line and complete this profile. Stop sketch. Now go to create, revolve, select this profile and for the axis select this line. Type, full, press OK. Now select this plane, create new sketch. First I will draw one line for the origin. Press OK. Select this line and make it construction. Draw two circles, center diameter circle, first circle of 100 mm and the second circle of 170 mm, press center. Drag this line little bit upward, now go to arc, select three point arc, draw one arc from here to here with a little bit of curvature. Go to sketch and select sketch dimension. Assign the dimension from this point to this line and 6 mm. Select this line and this origin and make them coincide. Now it's ok. Now again go to Sketch dimension this point and this line and set the distance between them as 15 millimeter and this curvature as 55 millimeter. Press. Now mirror this arc above this line. So go to mirror, select this arc and mirror line this line press ok now trim out the unnecessary portions so go to trim select this arc and here it is now i want to pattern this one so go to sketch select the option circular pattern and for the objects select one two three this three. and center point this one 
number of quantities 8 press ok now trim out the unnecessary portions here so go to sketch select the option trim and trim out Stop sketch. Now go to construct and offset plane. Select this plane and construct the plane at a distance of 45 mm. Press OK. Select this plane and create new sketch. Go to project and double click on the Sketch one. Uncheck the projection link and press OK. Now turn on the visibility of sketch, the previous sketch. Now go to sketch scale. Double click on this sketch and as a point, select this origin point. Select the scale factor as 0.75 and press OK. Now right click and go to move. Select this whole figure and pivot point as the origin. Done. And rotate it at an angle of minus 15 degree or 15 degree. Press OK. Stop sketch. Now I will repeat the same thing but at a distance of 95 mm. So go to offset plane, select this plane and drag it up to 95 mm. Go to create sketch, project, this sketch and press OK. Now hide this sketch, double click on this sketch, sketch scale, point, this origin and scale factor up to 0.5, press ok. Now rotate this sketch, so right click, go to move, uh, select this sketch and set pivot point as this origin. Rotate it up to minus 30 degree. Sorry, minus 30 degree. Press OK. Stop sketch. Now turn on the visibility of sketch 2 and 3. Go to create and select option log. Select this profile this one and this one operation is join press ok here is our bevel we are ready now we need to add some more profiles here so go to create sketch and select this plane select rectangle center rectangle Draw the rectangle of dimension 10 by 5. Press OK. Now select this line and this curve and make the relation between them as tangent. Go to line, join here to of uh, angle 90 degree here and here to here stop sketch go to extrude extrude these three profiles up to a distance of minus 45 millimeter and operation as joint press ok i want to pattern this feature so go to create pattern and circular pattern 
pattern type feature object this extrude axis select this circle and number of quantity as 12 press ok now create a hole here so go to create and select hole select this plane and for the reference select this circle so it will be at the center of the circle make the drill point as flat and the diameter as 35 millimeter extend all so it will create the hole through the whole body press ok so here is my helical bevel gear ready thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video hit the like button this will help a lot and don't forget to share and subscribe to mad about designs for new tutorials on autodesk fusion 360 see you in the next video till then keep designing and design whatever you love bye bye